can turn into Messi. Through for Robert Taylor. Welcome back. Well, MLS match day two, we'll see an interstate matchup between Inter Miami and Orlando City. That is tomorrow at 4.30 p.m. Eastern. You can watch on Apple TV+. Plus. All right, let's dive into this rivalry. Is it a rivalry, though? <laughs> It, is. it begs the question. So this this is my my issue. It's a regional this. rivalry. It's a regional we'll, we'll rivalry admit that. for sure. But they don't even have an official name for this rivalry mm. yet. I've heard Turnpike <laughs> Derby. I've heard <laughs> El Clasico <laughs> del Sol. Nah. No. Nah. Nah. But, C plus. but if you that's, that's haven't terrible. established. Sounds like a cruise boat. Thank you. Not a fan. If you have not yet established an official title and name for a rivalry, is it a rivalry? I feel like you don't Me need though. No, marketing Clásico is important. Clásico de la Florida, Florida Clásico. No, that's almost as bad as uh, El Sol. Okay, fair enough. But I mean, El Clásico is El Clásico. I feel like Bo something Bo needs to organically come about. Like right? El Tráfico. Yes, but <laughs> of course it's a derby because you're within the same state. Sure. So I have a good alone. one, but I, 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 I can believe, say it on I mean, TV. The, the fan bases <laughs> definitely feel it, but I feel like they need to, they need to hone in on a name so that yeah. we can it can it can Especially, develop into it feels like the earthquakes who they're like the we're our rivalries uh la galaxy yeah. and la galaxy is like oh yeah <laughs> we've been focusing on lafc for so for so many years now we forgot about the uh you know earthquakes up there it feels like orlando and atlanta that's a bit of a rivalry from the from you know the recent well, years. But like mm -hmm. Inter, Miami's like what the about new kids, us? Though. Yeah, I yeah, feel yeah, like yeah. Miami right now are kind of caught up in their glitz and glam moment. They're not really focusing I mean, on derby. There, there is. It, it's pretty contested and heated between both yes. of the fan clubs. Remember when there yes. was the Inter Miami mural welcoming Messi to Miami, mm -hmm. and some Orlando fans splattered Defaced the wall it. with with purple Rude. paint. Um, there is a certain animosity between both of the clubs, but I do understand what you're saying. For yeah. El Clásico and El Super Clásico have a hundred years of history. They can be called El Clásico. Of course. Mm -hmm. But for marketing perspective, it, do, it I think it does need an official name. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we seen. El Tráfico came from the internet. Maybe one of the fans. It did. Maybe. It did. And Bath Saltico or something. You know, <laughs> the hell is real derby between just something <laughs> local, Columbus you know. and, right. and Cincinnati. Hudson, Hudson you know, Rear, those are all, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. And and yeah. with those, they they kind of establish themselves as like you know significant rivalries. Even anyway, Yankees Mets, the fans we came leave up with it up Subway to the series. supporters. Mm -hmm. uh, well, let's let's chat a little bit about this this matchup on on the pitch. Inter Miami coming off a one one draw uh, with the LA Galaxy. They won their first match against Real Salt Lake, a scoreless draw between Orlando and Montreal, uh, which we were a little bit, we talked about it yesterday, just a little bit disappointed with for, for Orlando as they were a team that we had sort of hyped up at the start of this season. Um, it, it's interesting with Orlando, though, Nico, because we're not quite sure what we're going to see from them in terms of a, a starting 11, because they have both Duncan McGuire and Muriel, and they have played in their first match. Duncan McGuire got the start. We did not see Muriel. He did not play in that. But in their CONCACAF Champions Cup match against Cavalry, which they won 3-1, um, Muriel got the start and an assist. So what how do you think what do you think will will work best for them? Here's a, a look at the projected 11. But again, we do not know if this is how it is actually going to look for Oscar Pereja. Pareja trusts Maguire. He trusted him last season, and I think he can trust Luis Muriel too. If it's either together, one for the other, we don't know. I want to actually put less emphasis on that. Luis Muriel has so much quality. We mm -hmm. know of his quality. Uh, he hasn't been consistent with it in City A. Maybe it can be different in, it's gonna be exciting in, to see him in, this in league, Major though. League Soccer. Nonetheless, 
Look at from half field around the strike. Mm -hmm. Lodeiro, Cartagena, Araujo, Angulo, Torres, Facundo Torres. That's a that's a better complete midfielder midfield than or more mobile, more dynamic midfield than, than Miami has. I think if you could suffocate Miami and not give them so much time on the ball and limit Busquets, limit Diego Gomez out of the back, limit Julian Gressel, who already has limitations himself, um, Orlando can get something out of this game. Mm -hmm. And it's very possible to control this midfield, especially when the, uh, you know, I would say from like the 60th minute on, because as soon as Inter-Miami, it starts to get later in games, you start to see that age really show up. I, I mean, they're say. slower. So as long as you can keep the pace up, you can keep the heat on Inter-Miami seals. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's the reality of it. You see like a huge difference even with um, Luis Suarez versus uh, Campana when oh. they're both on or off field. Man versus boy. Wait, right, but <laughs> like where you have experience, yeah. Campana has like this like. Cartilage versus no yeah, cartilage. Yeah, I was gonna say, <laughs> yes. it's knees, knees versus, versus no knees, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> but I would like to be in the knees camp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> for, well, it's a small sample size. We've seen two matches from, from Inter-Miami. I will say, uh, in the match against the LA Galaxy, I actually thought that in the second half, they they were the stronger side, which is completely opposite of what we saw in that match, the first match against Real Salt Lake. Uh, Messi, obviously the difference maker. It helped that the Galaxy went down to 10 men at the very end of the game. They were able to find that equalizer. But um, aside from Lionel Messi, who who needs to who needs to be the difference makers? Who who can control the game with what they can do? Every conversation we have from here on out about Inter Miami, I feel like we can bookshelf. Messi's the game changer. Absolutely. The Inter Miami has Messi, and mm -hmm. anything can happen when you have him. All right, that's that's already said. Messi yeah. and. Messi he and can't do yeah, Jordi Alba. It. 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 It's just extraordinary yeah. moments of quality that can tie a game. But I, there were moments where Inter Miami, when they were obligated to go get that equalizer, that mm -hmm. yes, they were better than than LA Galaxy. Nonetheless, through 90 minutes, Galaxy was a better team, mm -hmm. and they deserved to be up at least at halftime by more than than one goal. And 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 that's going to be the key to several of these teams in Major League Soccer. It's like, how do we distance ourselves? If we're better, if we are playing a better game than Inter-Miami, let's get a cushion so we could see out a game. Just that I'm worried, that I would say the large majority with this, with the exceptions of the Atlanta United, the Columbuses, the, um, the Cincinnati's of, of Major League Soccer. I don't know if there's, or Philadelphia, the rest of the pack in Major League Soccer is not, that good to deliver boom boom one two punches uh -huh. and, and and knock out don't in, say that inner, yet inner Miami M Maybe. MLS changes every year like give it a <laughs> little time right now. Then let's call Suze, it, don't say, listen to him then let's say, then don't let's put say it right in right a bag <laughs> and maybe and Orlando Orlando can be one of those teams <laughs> yes yeah and I, they should I be agree. they have a lot of quality they and with Nico do. Lodero there they look even better 100% all right quickly before we go to break uh, let's get some predictions for this match Alexis uh, I'm gonna say 2-2 two, two draw okay Ooh, I like it Man, I I, I want to I want Orlando to win now. Whether or not they will, mm -hmm. I'm I'm gonna go two one two one Orlando. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One one draw. One one draw. Yeah. Another one one draw. Yeah. Ooh, I think I think I'm gonna go with Christine. I think it's gonna be two one win for Orlando wow. at no home. One's coming no one Miami. Wow. Which is means so they're congratulations definitely going Miami. To win. Congratulations <laughs> Miami. You are welcome. Uh, that game 4:30 uh, tomorrow on Apple TV Plus. All right.